BXB here again with another edition of Artifact Highlights. Apologize for the delay on this video, but, well, let's just say the first week of school was longer than it needed to be. <sighs> but never mind that, getting back on track. Today's video, we're going to be discussing the Kex Beverage Company. Now, Kex Beverage Company, known also as Whitwell J. Kex Incorporated, operated a small bottling business in Kexburg, Pennsylvania. You know, that place where that acorn object kind of crashed and the government says it never happened. I couldn't find much about online about the Kex Beverage Company, so the dates I have are more from uh, eBay and other auctions selling bottles like this. Um, so I am from my estimates, Kex ran from the 1920s for the 1960s. I have the four bottles you see here arranged based off of the order I believe they are from oldest to newest. So I don't have a really much to talk about, but I will talk about, um, you might notice on the free to the right, it says uh, sparkling beverages or big stick beverages. Big stick was essentially their version of ginger ale. And in fact, you can see on the back of some of these bottles, you have the ingredients that go into the big st stick ginger ale. It's also on this back as well. And uh, Kex also produced um, Cherokee Red. They're one of the companies that's produced Cherokee Red at one time. And in their later he years, they also did Pepsi um, Pepsi Cola products. And that's also, they actually made a, a version of sparkling mineral water. Ooh, so, so amazing. Um, where the Kex Beverage Factory would have been, uh, it's now occupied by Outliner Al Campers. Right in the, um in right along US nine eighty two in Kexburg. Um, and that's really all I have really to discuss on the Kexburg Ve Beverage Company. As I said, I apologize this video wasn't really long. Um, if you guys have any more information on the Kex Beverageing, um, you guys can leave that information in comments below. I'd I would really appreciate it. And I guess till next time.